Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Silver Climb. Black and Ola here to give you my insight about why I make mistakes during my ascent to gold, why I make the mistakes, why I made good decisions and all that stuff, and hope to give you a little bit more insight into what I have to go through to hopefully get plat, because that is my goal. Don't know if I'll get it, but I'm going to try really hard. Anyway, we take out Misfortune near Dragon. We see an enemy mastery. This godlike thrush gets the hook, but unfortunately, Shaco interrupts the party, getting both of us. I thought I could take both of them. That was a bad mistake. I should have just ran when I was ahead. That's okay, though. Not a big deal. And we're going over to this next fight. We're at the enemy's blue side looking for a pick. Thresh with the godlike hood jumping on Misfortune, taking her out. There's another Shaco kill. And we try and close distance on Echo, but the boy is just too fast. I used my jump a little bit too haphazardly, and I'm not able to close distance there. This clip, we just finished cl uh, cleaning up in the middle, so I wait in the enemy red side jungle looking for some hot Sona booty, and I don't have to pop any summoners or anything crazy. She's pretty weak and pretty fragile, easy to take out, pick up that free kill there. I'm gonna go transition over to bottom to see uh, if anybody else is there. Misfortune thinks I'm alone. That's a bad idea. Annie's here, and we get the young NA flash. Just because, you know, Annie had her stun up, I wouldn't want to fuck with that. So that was a good move by Misfortune there. Going over to this next clip here, we've got Shaco in the middle, farming creeps by himself when he probably should be in the jungle. So we get Jute. I'm going to drop bomb on him. Annie's Tibbers goes down, takes him out, globals him. But Master Yi comes in, and I am taken out like a scrub. Now, as soon as I... Got as soon as I got him low, I should have left because, I mean, we can't be we can't be feeding Yi like that. Um, we're not really a class of a we're not really a team comprised of tanks, so it's important that we clean him up first. In this clip, we're at the enemy red side. We take out Misfortune. She just keeps getting caught out repeatedly, repeatedly. I'm not really sure what her mindset is. I'm sure she's getting pissed off. We take out Shaco. I'm making my way back downtown. Try to save, um, I'm trying to save Jinx, but it doesn't really work out, unfortunately. I get juked by Echo. So, Trin is going to hopefully help him clean up. I'm going to start up drag. That's a pretty decent trade. And they do get Echo, so that works out, too, in our favor. As you can see, we're pretty, pretty far ahead, and there's not really any fear of losing. So, it's all about objectives. As we take out Dragon, we see Sona out of position yet again. So I engage the chase on her and just erase her life points like that. After Sona gets taken down, I focus on Master Yi, get the double. Misfortunes here wants a little bit of some. Annie picks it up, kill steals from me. That's fine. Uh, it's a team game, guys. I'm not even going to be mad. This clip, we get an enemy echo because the godlike thresh, but he tries to corner break out of there. That is unsuccessful. We take him down, focus on the Sona booty again, pick her up. Then she goes down. Jinx unfortunately goes down again because she's out of position, and we clean up Master Yi. I don't know what it is about the Dragon Side Pit, but there, there's always a lot of action there. Now, in this clip, we're picking up the middle inhibitor turret because we've pushed so hard. Um, we don't have any wards because we are owning. Out of the sheer will of being a man, I jump on to three enemies, and we pick up two. Pretty free. Get the inhibitor. I'm low mana, so I want to get out of here. Shaco is meanwhile pushing bot because he's not really providing any team fight presence because, you know, he's so behind. When Shaco's ahead, it's it's horrible, but when he's behind, it feels like he's not even a part of the team. So that is our benefit there. In this clip, I just finished getting back from base and I saw somebody. A misfortune. Chilling in the mid lane. This is horrible for an AD carry to farm by yourself. It doesn't matter how well you think you can take care of yourself. Um, unless you're level 18 or super farmed, there's no reason why you should ever be by yourself because of that. Like, you, you're, it's so easy to close distance on you. I don't see why you would give them that for free. You don't even have a chance to fight back. You'll be global before you have a chance to do anything important. The Thresher Lander comes down. I jump in trying to get on Echo here. Miss my jump, but I do get the spikes and I erase his life from existence. Sona, I want the butt. Come back here. Come on, girl. Ooh, 730 damage off a regular Q. And she flashes out of here. That's cool. I don't even want her anyway. I want Shaco. That's the fake one. Where did he go? Where did he go? He's gone. All right, he's out of here. Not a big deal. 
So we're just gonna keep on farming here. Push bottom, we're really strong right now. We got double their kills, and we've got them just stuck in their side of the map. They can't really do anything. Shaco, for some odd reason, thinks he can take me. One-on-one, -on -one, isolated? You never want to do that with a Kha'Zix. Misfortune, out of position, yet again. Gets destroyed by Fresh this time. You know, I'm already 10 kills deep. He can have it. It's all good. I mean, I don't... I, I'm, I'm completely... That's why I never play ADK, because I love farming. If I see farm, I will ignore team fights and just get farm. And it's when they see you alone, that's when that's when accidents happen. Look at that. Half of Sona's life gone off of one Q. It's time for me to get out of here. They're taking me low. But I'll take out Master Yi. Not a big deal. Stay behind. Wait for cooldowns to come up. Lifesteal off these creeps and pick up the second inhibitor of the game. Echo, I want the booty. I missed the spikes. I would have gotten them if it wasn't for that. Fuck. Fuck. It's all good. No harm, no foul. My team is going to help me clean up here while I look to finish Black Cleaver. Now, it's not really often that I get to really carry games like this. The game has become less carry-focused over the past uh, few patches. And, I mean, League's always been a team game. And while it's nice to be able to carry every now and again, a few bad plays like the one I just made will make your carry roll seem insignificant. And because I'm so far ahead in levels, I mean, that's going to affect my death timers as well. And it's going to put my team at a real disadvantage if I make really stupid mistakes. So if you're carrying, it's important to still play smart. I mean, yeah, it feels awesome to play Rambo sometimes and just destroy somebody. But don't throw. Like, continue to play safe because that makes you still really, really feared. All right, so I just finished. I'm on my way to finishing Black Cleaver. I'm going to walk through and fail a jump for some odd reason. You guys you guys didn't see that. So clear chickens. They look like they're on the blue side of the enemy jungle. So we're going to try and make a play here. That close distance in. Poor Jinx gets gets trampled on my Master G. I'm not able to save her, unfortunately. Alpha Strike prevents me from doing anything. But it's time to go in. Let me get a kill. Let me get a kill. There we go. This is the Fate Shaco. But thanks to Fate's the Mountain. I'm able to survive. I'm going to head out of here, smite red, lifesteal off of that, get back into position here. Shaco unfortunately takes out our Annie, but that's okay because when you play safe like I do, then this happens. Sorry. All right, so triple for... Now, they're complaining why I didn't why I didn't commit earlier. If I committed earlier, I would have died and I wouldn't have gotten that triple there. We wouldn't have won the team fight. So you have to know the limits of your champion. You got to know what your cooldowns are all like, what uh, cooldowns the enemy has gone through so that you can contribute best to the team fight that you can. Because I'm not a tank. All right, I'm, I'm an assassin. So I have to go for the, I have to go for the targets uh, that are doing big damage like that. And because I didn't manage that shit properly, I got blown up. I thought I could take 4 and one even though I'm 15, 5, and 14. So, you know, sure, it may seem like I'm God, but you got to play smart. I mean, Master Yu's popped Highlander, so we can't be slowed. He's going to take out Thresh, unfortunately, and make his way over to killing Jinx. Can't be slowed, so Zap's not going to help. I feel like if Jinx committed with Thresh earlier, then maybe one of them might have gotten out, but... They get Mastery anyway. Mastery got two out of that, so it's not really that good of a trade. Now, on this last clip, I complete uh, Black Cleaver. Build's almost done. Looking for GA now. And I'm just trolling through the forest to see if anybody gets caught. And I see Echo going towards Baron, so maybe he's backing here. Oh, poor Echo. Look at that. Didn't even have to do anything. Trin, <laughs> Trin didn't get any of that. No assists for you, my friend. Anywho, um, with their jungler gone, there's no objectives to take. It's time to try and finish the game. A lot of the issues I find in this ELO is that we don't know when to finish. It's really fun killing things, and I'm sure you guys know this also. Like Misfortune! And Sona! And can we get Yi as well? No, Shaco! Not again! Run, 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 run! Just wait for it, wait for it. There we go. Easy game, easy life, gentlemen. And we're able to take out the enemy Nexus. The Echo wants one more. Now, if I if I flash and just kill them before he ignited me, 
I would have gotten it. I had nothing to life steal off of, no healing. And so I died unnecessarily, but the damage had been done by that point. So we take the game pretty easily. Um, thanks for watching. I'm almost in Silver 4. I'll be back with more The Climb Out of Silver. Yes!